Let's talk about character representation systems. Character representation systems. We've got the old system, which was ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange, and that was a 7-bit system. It was a 7-bit character representation system. Now they have the Unicode transformation format, and we just call it Unicode. And uh, let's take a look at the old ASCII table. The ASCII table looked like this. That was the old ASCII table. Notice it has decimal, hex, octal, and then the actual character that is being represented and the translation on the right hand side. Hmm. How does that help us? Well, The next big question then is, how, how do you represent a letter? Let's say letter A. Letter A in ASCII. Well, simple. The answer is character 65. The decimal character 65. And if you go to the ASCII table and you look it up, that's what you're going to see. You'll see this. Well, that's fascinating. The next question is, how do you represent, how do you represent decimal 65 in binary? That is a very important question. And here's our answer. Let's move this up. And here's our answer. First, we'll write down the weights in binary. There's 1, 2, 4, 8, then there's 16, 32, 64, and 128. And we can move this over just a tad, like so. That looks good. Yeah. If decimal 65 equals the letter A, how do I write decimal 65? Well, first, let me make this a nice little table. Like so. And divide it up like so. There we go. Do I need the 128 value? No, that's too much. I can use 64. That brings me close to decimal 65. 32? No. 64 and 32 is way over 35. I don't need 16, 8, 4, nor 2. But 1 plus 64 is 65. So, there we go. 0100001 equals 65, because 64 bit, uh, 64 weight plus the one weight is equal to 65, and that's equal to the letter A. And so our answer is 0100001 equals the letter A. What do you know?
This is George Ball. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye.